A woman always left out food for the foxes. Then one night, she captured an unexpected encounter. Despite her initial opinions on foxes, Lucy Gocher came to love their visits to her garden. They came for the food she left out, and in return, they offered some great photo opportunities. Then one day, Gocher watched in surprise as another creature pushed through the foxes towards the food bowl. Gocher has lived in West Sussex, England ever since she was a child. During that time, she's grown fond of the local wildlife, even the ones that have fallen into disrepute. Take foxes, for example. Many people consider them nuisances. Admittedly, they are trouble for people who own animals such as rabbits or chickens and poultry. Foxes are clever creatures, so keeping a hungry hunter away from livestock isn't easy. But that aside, they generally pose little threat to companion animals. However, some members of public are concerned that foxes will attack their pets. Anita Kelsey, cat blogger, asked BBC Wildlife in 2014 if foxes were dangerous to cats. It answered largely to the negative, stating foxes and cats meet many times every night and invariably ignore each other. When a fight does break out, BBC Wildlife continued, it's often the fox that comes off worse in the encounter. Similarly, they're more likely to ignore dogs, since foxes don't consider canines as potential prey. Nevertheless, Gocher wasn't aware of this initially. My family and I have had fox visitors for years, Gocher informed the dodo on June 29, 2018. But like a lot of people, we believed they were dangerous creatures and that they'd be a danger to our cats. Eventually though, Gocher saw a new side to them. But a few years ago, we realized how gentle they really are, Gocher explained. As a result of vanishing habitats, English foxes are struggling to find food in urban environments. Because of this, the Wildlife Trusts of Birmingham and Black Country encourage leaving food and water out for them. As long as they're not overfed, feeding foxes can be a beneficial arrangement. The foxes get their food and humans can watch them from afar. Unfortunately, this is not so in the U.S., where leaving morsels out for them is discouraged. It's even a crime in some states. With the plight of the English fox in mind, Gocher decided to give them a chance. In 2016, she began laying out food bowls for them and started watching the foxes that came to her yard. She quickly saw through their bad reputation and fell for their charms. Gocher's offering brought a group of local foxes to her garden and soon she was hosting four of them. And they didn't just pay fleeting visits either. Knowing where they could get an easy meal, the foxes returned nearly every night. In fact, she saw her new friends often enough to get some beautiful pictures of them. Not only did she capture them eating, she also took pictures of them relaxing and exploring. One shot even shows Gocher's cat intimidating a member of the fox skulk. Then one day, the proffered food lured another creature to the animal lover's yard an inquisitive hedgehog. Foxes aren't avid hunters of hedgehogs, but they do prey on them, albeit rarely. Initially, the new visitor avoided contact with the foxes by waiting until they had left. After a few nights, however, the hedgehog grew tired of being last in the pecking order. Consequently, he made a daring move and ambled his way right past the assembled foxes to the food bowls. Gocher couldn't believe what she was seeing. He marched straight through the assembled foxes and started on a bowl, Gocher recounted. I was terrified they'd attack him, but instead they just looked at him with curiosity like they couldn't believe his boldness and they left him alone to munch away. Since that night, the foxes gave the hedgehog a wide berth. It's unclear whether this was because they respected his confidence or feared his spikes. Regardless, the results were the same. The hedgehog ate alone. That is, until a curious fox approached him. In a friendship reminiscent of a Disney movie, the fox and hedgehog became firm friends. Indeed, they grew so close that they even shared food bowls at mealtimes. Before long, they were enjoying consistent meals together, much to Gocher's surprise. 
He's very happy to eat beside the hedgehog, Gocher said with good reason. Being friends with his prickly pal provides the fox with an advantage over his more bashful buddies. For example, he gets first pick of all the food bowls. In addition, the other foxes are less likely to steal the hedgehog's food while his friend watches his back. It would appear that in accepting each other, the animals have found teamwork to be highly beneficial. Gocher is certainly pleased to see them getting along. Gocher told the dodo, I assume the hedgehog would be in danger, or at least avoid the foxes entirely, but they're united by their mutual love for free and plentiful food. Something that could be said for most humans too, I imagine. Not all the foxes are happy about this themselves. Gocher's Facebook page explained on June 26, 2018, a couple will sit on the grass glaring as the VIP guest munches its way through a bowl after bowl, patiently waiting for their turn for some dinner. However, they put up with it, so despite its small stature, Gocher concluded the hoggo runs the joint.